Hi, I'm Evan Pantazzi. I'm back to um, give another comment to Justin Quaid's uh, recent comment. Now, I posted that on uh, a reply to that on Thursday, uh, but we're doing it again here on Saturday because another comment came in from him, and I wanted to clarify that. Um, we have the Friday road trip, so I don't usually post the video on Fridays. So anyway, um, his concern was uh, with the pressure points and the nerves, and he stated, and you can see his exact comment below, uh, whether you call it a pressure point or a nerve, the body still grounds. Um, and he stated that he was an electrical engineer, and that's um, uh, pertinent to the fact of it grounding. And uh, yes, it is. Uh, the body does ground electricity, uh, and it does seek the ground. I'm not disputing that. I'm disputing the mechanism that sends it there. It's not a pressure point. Pressure points lay on the fascia, as mentioned in other posts and other um, uh, on QShow.com and other videos here on the YouTube channel. Uh, and they're not as electrically con conductive as a nerve, okay? Now, we can see this from um, a couple experiments you can do for yourself, and you might even have seen it on uh, the videos anyway. Uh, when you're doing something, say, like the uh, neurological revival or the intermediate lung revival, when you don't cross the legs, um, the electricity from the slap in the neck or the, or the, or the thump in the chest, um, it transmits down to the ground through the sciatic nerve, okay? That's uh, one of our basic grounds, uh, and it goes down into the plantar nerve, and that's where we ground from. Um, if you're working with the, uh, the fascia, however, it doesn't ground, okay? It's a different mechanism altogether. So uh, we have to really um, separate the terminology and the, the structures of the body. Now when you cross the legs, what happens is that lifts that um, sciatic nerve uh, more fully off the ground in a seated position and um, puts other parts of the body on the ground in, instead. And that way the electricity from the shock of the back of the neck or the, the chest travels up into the body as opposed to going down toward the legs and toward the ground. So yes, I, I agree fully with the grounding. Um, as a matter of fact, if you um, look at people that have suffered from um, electrocution from uh, lightning or even electricians, okay, um, and their positions in either water or standing on one foot compared to two feet or what kind of shoes they're wearing or whether their heel is up off the ground, yes, um, the, the grounding is uh, absolutely um, a scientific fact. Okay, does it work with the iron shirt, okay, or protecting against the Q-show? Not really, okay, and um, again, because it's working with a different mechanism. Uh, when you send a shock through the body, it's going to affect you um, a certain way. And uh, if you're working with pressure points, um, it's a different mechanism altogether. You're working with the fascia, as I stated, and more the muscle spindle cells, or you might even tie into a Golgi tendon organ if you're close enough to, to um, work with that. So again, it's not the pressure points that's working, it's the nerves. Now the, the, uh, the conductivity of the um, muscle spindle cells is not the same as the conductivity of a nerve, uh, or especially a major nerve in the body. And that's why we have to separate these things. And again, I've done acupressure, I still do it. I, you know, I do it professionally, I take clients on. And we're working with the, the massage of the, um, the fascia and even the muscles at times, the muscle spindle cells themselves or the Golgi um, uh, tendon bodies or organs as they're uh, more aptly called. So again, they're not the same structures as the, as the nerve. And say, for example, you um, throw a punch at someone uh, and you're gonna, you're bound to hit like four or five pressure points, okay? Because there's 360 some odd on one side of the body and the, on the same on the other side of the body. That's not even taking into uh, account the vast number of um, extraordinary points. So no matter where you throw a punch, a kick, an elbow, on the human body, there's going to be um, one of those pressure points underneath it. So why didn't it work in our karate studies uh, before we knew Kyusho? It's because our tools weren't as focused, our targets weren't as focused, our um, trajectories weren't as focused. 
uh, the more you can focus, the better you get. Now, again, if you're hitting five pressure points with the fist, then theoretically it should work. And even if you hit them at the right angle and direction, as they, they call it, um, you're not going to get the same effect. But if you take a knuckle, a single knuckle, and penetrate deep, so you penetrate past the uh, muscles, you penetrate past the fascia, and you get to the nerves, you get a, a much more potent and efficient result. Now, on, in the process, you're going to bypass the fascia and the muscle spindle cells, and it will cause pain, it will cause dysfunction, as I mentioned earlier. However, it does not send the electrical conductives um, uh, as much as a nerve would. So uh, again, the focus that I'm trying to get everybody to concentrate on is um, the nerves, okay, or the blood vessels if you want to play that game, or the organs, um, but not the pressure points because they're not the most efficient or the most powerful apparatus for your cue show. And if you look at the old masters, they didn't even name a pressure point. They named... Uh, different targets and they talked about um, shock, neurological shock, they talked about hypovolemic shock uh, and this is not on the pressure points. The pressure points they named, they named uh, for whatever they felt like calling it, like the hollow behind the ear um, and we know that um, there's a facial nerve there, we know there's a pressure point there on the, the muscle structure and we also know that there's vascular tissue there as well. So again, the more you can delineate and focus on a more specific actual target rather than um, a uh, imagined point on a uh, uh, fascial structure, the better you're going to be at your Q show. That's the point. And also, um, when you're talking the pressure points, since it's been um, uh, taught or um, taught with the the TCM theories of fire melts metal and all that, that's, that's not a correct paradigm, okay? And I've worked with both, I've, I understand both, and I was actually in acupressure before I uh, worked with the pressure points, and I worked with the pressure points for a number of years. When I found out it didn't work, I discarded it uh, for the, the, the more efficient and more powerful um, actual structures of the human body. So, not to be argumentative, but that's my opinion, and um, I'm glad you voiced yours. I really appreciate the feedback back and forth. It makes us think. It makes us um, ferret out um, different ideas, and it's going to help everybody because they'll get a clearer understanding. Uh, whether they choose to go the pressure point route or the nerve route, that's their choice. Um, I, I know for, uh, from my experience that um, uh, we've improved our skills and our abilities and the results and the effects on the human body vastly by switching to the nerve uh, structures and uh, an anatomical study rather than a pressure point study. So, uh, Justin, thank you again for the comment. I uh, encourage you to make more and ask questions if you wish. And for all of you, um, keep the questions or comments coming. It makes for an interesting uh, conversation. And it's not just a YouTube channel that is a one-way conversation. You know, if we can start this dialogue back and forth, I think that's exciting and it'll help Q Show considerably, help the martial arts considerably as well. So thanks for tuning in. Take care.